Okay, if your clock stops running or only runs for about five minutes or so and then stops, it's uh, probably not running at all. It's probably just the the uh, momentum of, of getting the swing arm going and then and then that momentum eventually just ceases and the clock is not actually operating properly. Two things can be going on. Uh, more than likely there's some interference. Something is being hung up inside the clock that's preventing it from running. Um, it could be that the pendulum itself is being hung up on its crutch, which you can see there. Just make sure it moves freely. Uh, it's not nestled down in the corner. Also, the pendulum bob itself could be striking the inside of the ball. You'll notice if I hold the, the back of the ball up, there's very little room for that pendulum. It almost needs to sit exactly perfect. If it's leaning too far back, it probably won't have enough room to swing. It should lean fairly close to the mounting plate. Um, that could be a culprit. More than likely though, what I honestly believe is a, is a could be a culprit if the clock stops running. Uh, this anomaly seems to occur after the clock is wound. Uh, so you'll notice, your flashlight here, that down here, this is the actual drum containing the winding spring. And if you look down in the corner, you'll see that it is very, very close to the front of the ball. Now this entire drum needs to rotate uh, to release its energy to keep the clock running. So if the bottom corner of that drum were making contact with the ball, it would probably not rotate. There'd be just too much friction. Uh, the spring is strong, but probably not strong enough to overcome that friction. So I believe that maybe when the clock is being wound, uh, it's possible that it's just moving slightly towards the uh, bottom of the ball which is creating um, some friction here. So what I've done here, and hopefully you can see this in the video because I have to put the flashlight down, but one of the things that you can check is get a piece of paper I'm using a little post-it note here and slide the post-it down between, you see that slides between the, wind, or the uh, spring drum and the ball. So this should be good. If your paper goes to here and stops and will not push down, more than likely it's uh, making contact in that corner. Now if that's the case, uh, it, it actually is a pretty easy fix. It may take a little work, uh, but let me tell you how to, to adjust that. You'll see you should not need to remove the clock hands to do this, but there's three screws. There's one here, one here, and one on the back side here. Those three screws are actually holding the movement to the front of the ball. So if you were to loosen, I would not remove, but I would loosen those three screws and then simply pull this movement upwards just a little, and, and we're probably talking a, a, a millimeter or a fraction of a millimeter. Pull it upwards and then retighten the screws. Tighten each one a little bit. And then double check uh, the paper method again and see if it slips in there. Um, worst case scenario, under these, uh, excuse me, my flashlight's not working. Under the screws in the back, there's a bracket. And that bracket, if it were, could be bent very slightly forward or maybe even put a washer uh, between the bottom plate and that bracket uh, to tilt the clock back slightly to remove the the uh, possibility that the drum is making contact with the ball. Now obviously to do that it's going to require you to remove those screws altogether and slide a washer down there. If you have to remove the movement out of the ball then you're going to have to take the um, clock hands off. Now one simpler method may be, and it's, it's really not the right way to do this, but uh, it may be a simple band-aid to see if it works is if you have a clock oiler like this you can try and get the clock oiler down into that uh, that corner down where the the drum containing the spring meets up with the front of the ball uh, just a couple of drops of oil maybe it'll add enough lubricant that it will swing uh, there you can see it better that it will swing uh, or excuse me, we'll, we'll keep 
discharging enough power to keep the clock moving. Again, I, uh, that's probably not the way that, that you should fix it, but if it's it, maybe you could do it as a little test to see if it works, and if it if it does and it keeps your clock running, then at least you'll know what the issue is, and then it's that drum right there is making contact with the front of the ball. Hopefully this video helps. Good luck.